So one of the little minor irritations we discovered when we were out in the van last week was how to use this table. It comes supplied with this uh, telescopic triangular legged base that has to go through this little hole into the bench on the passenger seat. There's just one snag with that. If you filled your bench with all your sleeping bags and other bits and pieces, you can't get the leg in. So Bernie to the rescue and we've come up with an idea. So the solution was to fit one of these table rails. You quite often see them in uh, VW camper vans and caravans etc. And we just uh, fix that to the rear kitchen unit. Obviously you've got to make sure that you can still get your cupboards open. With these table rail kits you usually get some brackets to fix onto the table. And our neighbour, the auto electrician who kindly put in all our electrics for us, just happened to have a spare one going begging. So we've put the brackets on, I should say rather, Bernie's fitted the brackets. Now you're probably wondering why we've left that central leg support in. So we've come up with an idea of how we can still use the table outside by using the existing post and just making a slight adjustment to the height of it. So we were quite fortunate that when we had our old auto sleeper we actually already had a table, post and a base. So all we've done is to adjust the height we've taken the black end caps off the spare leg and they'll just slot onto the existing post. That gives you the additional height and we'll see that in a minute when we've hooked the table onto the rail. So with these table rails you have to have a way of it staying on the rail and there's a little locking me mechanism on the bottom of the bracket. You just, once on the rail, you slide those brackets across and that'll stop the table from bouncing off. So for the table to work, you actually have to drop it down a little bit because the rail is so close to the overlip on the kitchen you just need to drop it down a little bit into the recess down here so you can hook it on and then lock it on with the two brackets and then get the post which I'll get for Bernie if he can't reach it he's got it and just slot that post into the original position now we noticed here that there is a slight downward slope and that's probably due to the fact that the floor goes down a little bit here we do have another one of these little black caps but putting another one in made it too high so we've come up with a little solution just using one of the brackets that we put on to extend the leg and a couple of silicone cup holders velcroed together. Just drop that on the end, pop that underneath, drop it down, jobs are good. Now obviously your table is a little closer to the back but we've tried it out and we can both sit we can both sit around it and because you don't have that big bracket on the floor you can get your feet round it one of the other advantages of this rail is that you can slide the table along slightly so we can slide it towards the cooker for when you're washing up to give you a bit more workspace and then if you want to cook you can slide it back to the other end and you've got room to actually sit and cook and use the table to put your pans and ingredients and stuff on jobs are good just a little hack and we'll trial it out and see how it goes but it's got to be easier than trying to get that triangular bracket through the hole once your bench is full of stuff so I know some of you are going to say why don't we just put one of those bases into the floor screw it in permanently it would save a lot of messing around with the rail but it would be a tripping hazard and I'm not actually sure whether it would interfere with putting the seats back in which we'll still need to do on occasion if we're going to pick our grandchildren up so this seemed like the best solution to as i say a bit of a minor irritation thanks for watching until next time the other windsors